Joey Rodriguez, point guard. Virginia Commonwealth joins us. Subway Fresh Take Hotline. Joey, first of all, congratulations, man. You guys are balling out. And I said last week that Shaka Smart, the whole nobody thought we could win, us against the world. I was going to give him a free pass on the first one for sure. I get it. Then the second one, okay. But now everybody believes. Are, are you going to continue to wave the, hey, you guys still think we shouldn't be in card? Uh, I hope so. Uh, you know, our, our guys, uh, we still hear everything. We remember things. And, and you know, it's working for us. So uh, we got to keep it going. Well, my point is that when you shoot 57% against Purdue and hammer them after you light up Georgetown, I think anybody that, that had any question marks have, have had them answered with exclamation points the way that you guys have played. As for that Purdue game, I, I haven't seen anybody ever play that well against their defense. What was the key in, in shooting 57% and just lighting up a good Big Ten team? Yeah, uh, you know, getting the game, our tempo really helped. Uh, you know, they came down, made a couple shots, and, and we got the ball out quick and, and, and pushed it. And I thought that kind of wore them down. And then and, and late in the first half and early in the second half, we kind of uh, attacked them and, and made the extra pass. And, and, you know, when we do that, we have guys that can make shots. Your coach is a, is a young guy. He's a, he's an energetic guy. We've seen some of the uh, some of the stuff inside the locker room that where the cameras catch it about making history. How much hist- how much more history, Joey? Does does your team feel you're capable of creating in this tournament? Uh, you know, I, I truly think we we can make a, a deeper run in this tournament. I, I think we have a group of guys that don't want it to end, and and we're a really hungry group. Uh, you know, we don't worry about who we're playing or or all the history they have, and you know, we just come out and play. And, and, you know, that comes from our coach and, and, and how he approaches things and tells us to just come out and play loose. And, and when we do that and attack people, uh, we could beat anybody on any given night. Joey Rodriguez of Virginia Commonwealth, our guest here, Scott Van Pelcho on ESPN Radio and ESPNRadio.com. I've been on Friday night, myself, Rosillo, just watching the games, and I'm like, he's doing that thing with the foot. You've got this great little deal where you shoot. It's like the foot goes out. Is that, is that a, just a balance thing? Because you get calls on it because dudes run into you. Are you trying, are you trying to look for contact or is that just how you shoot? No, it's just how I shoot. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to shoot like that because I used to try and shoot threes and, and, and shoot from deep. So right. Uh, little kids a... always do that, right? Like the little kid instead of, uh, we, we, we've all done it, right? You go out to see how far can I shoot from and you got to hoist it from basically down by your kneecaps. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I, I just stayed doing it my whole life, and, and it's helped, you know, as long as I keep my follow through high, and it's usually a good chance of going in. So, yeah, it does help too sometimes, you know, I fade a little bit so I can get my shot off because I'm a shorter person. So, um, you know, it just helps me get shots off and, and sometimes get calls. I asked Kevin about this. Kevin Anderson uh, last hour was with this point guard from Richmond. It's, it, I'm from the D.C. area. I went to Maryland. So I, I remember growing up and being in school there, the Maryland guys, the Georgetown guys, all the guys in the city, everybody kind of knew everybody because they traveled in the same circles, played in the same summer leagues, et cetera, et cetera. And he said he, that he didn't have any friends on your team. He wasn't being disrespectful, like, I don't like those guys. He just said it was more like you had some, some you knew some of the same people, but that you, you guys weren't necessarily traveling in the same circles of, of friends necessarily. Is, is, that, is that the way you see it, or do you, do you know the guys on Richmond pretty well? No, you know, I see it the same exact way. You know, we know the same people sometimes. You know, I've, I have some friends on the football team that I grew up with, but uh, us and those guys, we don't really hang out or talk that much. Uh, you know, we respect them. We're proud of what they're doing. But, uh, you know, they beat us this year, so hopefully we get another shot at them. Right on. Uh, Joey Rodriguez with us uh, from VCU. I tweeted last night, the city of Richmond has got, a, it has got as many teams in the Sweet 16 as the, uh, as the Big East does. And you just mentioned that you're proud of those guys. I mean, is it, it's, I, I'm familiar with the Richmond area. Again, my, one of my sisters lives there, so I know it. And, and it's, VCU's got some tradition there, and so does Richmond. I mean, h- h- what's your sense of how Richmond is reacting to the fact that not just one but two teams are still playing and, and could play for a right to go to the Final Four? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, you know, uh, we had class earlier today and, and just walking around campus. You know, we're downtown Richmond, so we yep. get all the traffic and everybody out there. So, uh, you know, we get a lot of horns honking at us early this morning and people yelling out the cars. It's been great. Uh, that, you know, it's what's been that, a great experience. That, that, that's my favorite thing about this, Joey, man. What, like, what's that like? like? You got people honking horns, I get it. But as you guys are walking around, and I mean, I, look, I'm not get, trying to give advice here, but I, I hope. Not that the run has to end, but I hope that you guys are just enjoying right now because there can't be a more fun time for a senior to still be playing and just really just enjoying today. Yeah, I, I think that's been key for us too, you know. Uh, this whole tournament, we've just been having a good time, you know. Some people stress over all these games, and, you know, you want to win the games, but uh, we're just having a great time with everything. You know, coach is making it loose. Our shoot-arounds aren't really practices. Uh, you know, we're getting shots up, but we're having a great time while doing it, and, and you know, it's been a great experience. 
All right, I'm going to just ask this for, for folks around the country that, that maybe they caught bits and pieces or whatever else, Jamie Skeen can go. I mean, if you're going to tell people, all right, the best player on the team, yourself excluded, who's the, who's the guy that America should be paying attention to if they haven't been woken up already to, to the story? Uh, I'll probably say Bradford Burgess. Uh, yeah, he went nuts he, yesterday. Yeah, he went nuts yesterday, but he you know he does so much for us. You know, he's blocking shots, he's getting rebounds, and, and he could do everything. He could he could you know push in transition. He can make plays off the dribble. He could shoot. Uh, just a really impressive kid that that can probably play at the next level. What do you know about Florida State? I mean, they're they're next up. You've got a few days to dig into the tape and and, and check out what they do uh, defensively. They really clamp down on a, on a good shooting Notre Dame team. A completely different tempo, but they like to shoot threes the way you guys do. Right. What what presents their biggest challenge? Do you think? Uh, you know, they're long and athletic, and you know they're big inside, and they got a lot of bodies. So uh, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, hopefully, we get the game going at our tempo, like we said, and. Uh, we can't play on our heels. Uh, you know, they're big guys. They're going to try and jam us, and, and we've got to attack them like we've been doing. Uh, it's going to be a fun game. You know, I'm from Florida, so I'm yep. really looking forward to this. I know you are. Merritt Island in the house, and uh, so you get your chance. I'm sure you're familiar with that song. You just don't want to hear those, uh, hear that uh, that endless drum beat. Uh, as an ACC guy, I know it. when you're on the wrong side of it, it's no fun at all. But every picture I've seen, every highlight, every moment that I'm watching you play, it, it seems like you got a giant smile on your face, man. Keep, keep keep smiling, keep playing, and keep uh, keep repping your school and your city. I I think the doubters are just sitting silently now, and in fact, I think everybody's singing your praises. So, uh, congrats on all that, Joey. We appreciate you taking a few minutes to visit with us. Thanks a lot.